Guys, what's going on? Back with my friend Aldo from Crusades of Motivation. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good, good, man. How's your night going, brother? All right, really good, really good. Now that I'm here with you, we're gonna just we're, we're gonna get down to business. It's even better. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna talk some calisthenics. So for those of you, uh, Aldo and I have done several reviews of some um, calisthenics battles that took place recently uh, that are hosted by uh, Rip Wright HD. Uh, on his new channel called Settle It on the Bars. And what he's doing is he's bringing together uh, calisthenics athletes uh, to battle it out on the bars, obviously, um, for cash prizes. And he's hoping to grow it uh, into something. And, uh, you know, Aldo and I have discussed this a little bit. And I, you know, I, and I think other people have, are of the same opinion that this could really turn into something. Um, so I enjoy the battles. Uh, I know Aldo does too. So we decided just to discuss them a little bit. And we wanted to bring up a few points. And uh, this is the newest battle, actually the, the newest one that I came across. And uh, Aldo and I talked about it a little bit. And we wanted to bring it to you guys and do a little bit of review. So what's up, Aldo? You had a chance to check this one out? Oh, yes, I did, man. I did once. But you know what I said? I said, I'm going to wait until we watch it again with Aldo. See, see? Because you, every time you rewatch it and um, you analyze things, then you learn from, from every yeah. watch. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you just, you know... Again, I, I, I enjoy calisthenics, uh, you know, and this isn't something where, you know, if you watch it once, it's like anything, you know, you watch it, but then when you go back and really watch it again and look for certain things, you say, oh, I, I kind of missed that the first time around, you know, uh, you have, you, and you, you get a little different perspective on it. Uh, so, and actually what we've been doing, what Aldo and I have been doing is, is kind of breaking it down a little bit more uh, rather than just, okay, you know, this guy won and that's it and move on. We're kind of, Kind of breaking it up, breaking it up a little bit, and looking at uh, at, at each athlete and seeing, uh, you know, maybe talking about their strategy a little bit and what happened during the battle. So yes, this one here took place again at the Grit City Gym in Bronx, New York, and this was between an athlete uh, named Money L. And again, I I didn't know Money L, but after this battle, you know, YouTube being YouTube, uh, th this this actually for you guys, this video was. Uh, posted on That's Good Money's channel. I'll leave the link down below. After I watched this video, I actually came across another video on That's Good Money's channel uh, that featured Money L, where he did some, I believe it was diamond uh, Mike Tyson push-ups and some pull-ups, uh, a challenge like that. But anyway, and then the other gentleman's name is Keith. I've, I've never seen Keith before, uh, so I didn't know anything about his, his skills or anything. Uh, but yeah, so in this battle, what they did was the routine was 10 muscle ups straight into 20 pull ups, uh, down off the bar into 30 jump burpees, and then they finished the routine with uh, 40 parallel bar dips. So let's check this one out. Uh, we'll start it out here and we'll see how this one went. Yeah, I mean, that's a really nice routine, it's, it's complete, a lot of endurance on that. Absolutely. So again, this was at um, the Grit City Gym over in the Bronx, New York, between Money L and uh, Keith, and hosted by uh, Islam from Rip Right HD. Talk to the people, man. Let them know it's getting ready to go down. Yo, y'all already know what time it is. Settle it on the bars three. The opener is going to be Money L versus Keith. Train to it go. looks like this gym you is going to be a staple for these battles. I believe so. Yeah. And uh, again, we talked about they have some future battles coming up, and. Uh, it looks like this will be, for now at least, uh, the, home, the home base for these battles. Muscle ups into 20 pull ups, straight into 30 burpees, into 40 dips. Everything has to be locked out. Mm. The dips at 90 degrees, lock out on the top. Let's work, y'all. That's really nice. They're being more clear about the, the specifics of the moves. That's really cool. And you know, we talked about this on a couple videos before. I think he should demonstrate. For, for us and for the athletes. So I don't know if they probably do with the athletes before, but I think that it'd be nice if uh, we can see it on camera. Rip, right? We, we let, uh, hear the people, man. <laughs> yeah, that's an excellent point. That's And, and again, we did talk about that, uh, the instructions that are given to the athletes, and there should be some type of, for our benefit too, like you said, mm -hmm. have somebody up on the bar and have, or, or 
have Islam get up on the bar himself and show this is what we're looking for. This is the technique that we're looking for. When I say lockout, this is what I mean by a lockout, you know, for each exercise. Now, this is another point, Aldo, before we get started, and we've talked about for is, before is the judging uh, with these contests. As you can see on the right side of the screen, uh, you have Money L, and he's going to be judged by Islam. And then over on the left, we have Keith, and he's being judged by Mel from Rip Right HD. So we have two different judges looking at one judge looking at each athlete. Four, three, two, eight. Go, let's go. One, one, two, three, three, nice work. Four, good. Five, six, what about the bottom line? Seven, eight. Eight, nine, one more, one more. Okay, yeah, so both guys got through the uh, muscle-ups, the 10 muscle-ups unscathed. Uh, they looked really good to me. I, I didn't have any issue with them. That's Very sure. good, man. Smooth, uh, no, they didn't take time, man. Good, good work right yeah. there, man. Hey, yeah. I want to get there. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice set. By, by, yeah, congrats on, to both of them on that. That was good. So now we're going to move into uh, – 20 pull-ups and again this is where at the beginning where is mentioned that he's looking for a lockout uh you go over the bar and then you lock out at the bottom of the pull-up so we'll see what happens here so he, so here what i understand from here because i see i keep myself sometimes when i'm you know out there so many reps i start keeping so that's okay right in your understanding all the yeah i mean okay if you, now if you during that set you you actually heard is yell to money l several times lower 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 yeah, yeah which okay. i would assume he was telling him you're not locking out like i instructed you to do but you're right he i do see that there is a little bit of a kip with money l's push-ups as he progresses in the set mm -hmm. apparently that's not an issue uh, mm -hmm. there, there was no mention of that and I, I don't hear any warning from is, you know, straighten out, stop kipping or anything like that. So I, I don't believe that that's any type of issue here. So the focus is on the on the upper body. Yeah. The mixture. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 You know, little, I, and then homie over here, what's his name over here on the on the left? Uh, that's uh, Keith. 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 Yeah. 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 He he's a lot lighter, man. And I thought on the comments earlier how yeah. somebody suggested that maybe it could be into and you know what that's a great suggestion yeah yeah i was going to bring that up we'll, we'll, we'll we're going to talk about that we'll talk about the comments uh and some of the things that the people said so they're just finishing up here the <laughs> one more you got it he hits ahead you know like that one Hey, hey, I, I want you to be observative on these burpees, okay? Because I have an, uh, I, I, may, I have a question because I've noticed some here. Keep going, I'll tell you. I noticed some on the burpees. So we're for 30 burpees here now. And Money Yell is, is a little bit ahead. Every, every burpee, three, five. He came back. He's coming quick. Seven. Shout out to Keith, man. He's strong. The ball's hard, man. Jeez. Nine. Seven. Ten. Eight. Seven. Eight. Now, I want you to keep, I, Aldo, I want you to keep an eye out here, too. I don't know if this was a point you were going to bring up. Um, uh, but with the burpees, if you see Keith, mm -hmm. I mean, he's moving along really well. He looks good. But I, I noticed that several of the burpees, he didn't go down and do the do the full push up. That's you know what, what I, mean? I was, it was. Yeah, it was almost like a four count burpee where he didn't do the pump. He didn't do the push up. But I don't see where Mel called it on him unless I missed it. But just keep your eye out uh, on that and just tell me what you think. Let's go, man. Nine, 12, 10, 
Yeah, yeah, that's the same thing that I was going to uh, actually point at. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. 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 Come Oh man, this gets tough right here, man. Yeah, mm. this, is a set of, this is a set of 30 burpees. It is tough. And like I said, I mean, they're both doing relatively well here. Uh, Money L got off to a, a, a quicker start. Uh, he was ahead coming into the burpees a little bit, but then Keith looks like he caught up. And the only criticism I have so far with the burpees, uh, Money L seems to be doing it pretty well. But again, with Keith, I noticed that at least from this angle that we see it from, it doesn't look like he's going down. He's sporadic. There are some that he looks like he's good on, and then some that he, that that I think are like a little sketchy. But again, I don't see where Mel uh, called him on it. Yeah, yeah, he just uh, kicking back and, and back and forth. Yeah, on some of them. It looks like Mel tells him something, something right there. Yeah, he did. He was mm. talking to him, but I, I couldn't really make it out. So I don't know if, if, he, if he was giving him a count or warning him on his technique or what. Yeah, like right there. Yeah, but he, right there, he ain't going down. That's a couple of reps already. Okay, so now Keith uh, went ahead here after the burpees. The last part of the routine is 40 dips. Now, again, something I want you to watch, Aldo, is they were instructed with the dips that you have to go down to at least 90 degrees and then lock out at the top of the rep. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's let's keep an eye on that on this. They're going to do a total of 40. Let's go, let's go. Boy, money over here still working. Okay, now on that initial set there with, with Keith, from the angle I'm looking at, you know, it's kind of hard to tell if you were looking on, at him, you know, straight on, maybe he was definitely locking. Those elbows were locking. They were snapping at the top, but I don't think he was going down to 90 degrees, at least from what, how I see it here. And I, and I didn't notice that any, that, that Mel warned, warned him for anything. Uh, Mel standing right there. So I'll assume he saw it, that he was going to 90 degrees, but from my angle here, looking, watching the video, and I watched it a couple of times, it didn't look like he was, Keith was making 90 degrees with the dips in, in that first set there that he did. He did a uh, 10 right off the bat. Yeah, 10 right off the bat. Yeah, I counted. I'm counting. 40 dips. Okay, right there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. There you go. Now at the top, there's no doubt. There's no doubt uh -huh. he's he's snapping those elbows. I mean, his arms are straight, and those elbows are locked at the top of every one of his reps. But it just doesn't look like he's going down to 90 degrees. And another point too, looking over at Moniel, who who really looks like he's fatigued at this point, doesn't look to me like he's locking out or reaching 90 degrees. Let me know what you think on it. Work. Let me see. Show you really deep. Stop eating. Deep breath. 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 Deep so we can hear the action. <laughs> yeah, I would like to hear more clearly what the judges are saying, if anything, to them. You know. Woo! Yeah, look like he missed one there. Finish that plate. 
And Keith looks like at the end, uh, he's coming down more too. Keith, I want to mail this and say something. Yeah, he might because he did start it. Yeah, he started mm -hmm. cleaning up his his. Uh, you know, maybe I I guess I stand corrected. I'm looking again at Money L, and I guess he is getting 290 or, or very close to it. But I don't believe he's completely locking out at the top. So let's start the finish up. I think he missed one. Yeah, he missed one right there. Three, four. Oh, so that's it. Keith won it there. So looking Good back, job, looking back at it, th this was it. Really was even. I mean, they both got through the muscle ups. They had some clean muscle ups. They went into uh, their pull ups, and by my count, and I checked it a couple of times, they both. Uh, the, the set called for 20 pull-ups. They both actually did 22, which means that they were both called for two reps. Somewhere along mm -hmm. the line, uh, you know, the judges called them on two reps. Coincidentally, they both did 31 burpees, and they so that which means that they each had one burpee taken away from them from them uh, during the course of the set. And then actually, Money L is going to finish up his set here. So watch him finish up his set. He's got a few more tips to go. Yeah, that's good, man. I'm glad he got to finish it, man. I, I already talked about this before. I think it's good. Come on, man. Come on. Very nice, very nice. A lot of encouragement there. Right there, right there, right there, bro. It's like that hero, man, coming back from the battle and shit. I made it home, my people. I made it back. Man, for real. That's how this set me, man, you know? Good work, man. All right, so he got it done. He got it done. He came out ahead. Uh, Y'all yeah, know what time it is. Yo, we took um, a lot of reps from Money L, unfortunately, on the pull-ups um, because... You know, it wasn't a full lock. And when we say lockout, it's not necessarily like you're snapping, but it has to be as close. We can't see that that bend. So I think mm. that that hurt. Um, like, there you go. Definitely. To your point that you said earlier, I think right here, or, or even before the competition, I think it would have been better if either, it, like you said, either is demonstrated or they had somebody else up on the bar and him saying, okay, that's a good rep. That's a bad rep. If you mm -hmm. come down this far, it's no good. If you come that far, down that far, it's a good rep. You know what I mean? And and do that on each exercise just so we have a, a better understanding of what's going to be called good or what's going to be called bad. Hey, um, man, what what do you think about if they were to have two judges for each athlete? You think that will help a little? That will help to things like that or no? Or how about having a... a don't some some sports have like a re recap, like a they can rewind tape? Yeah, but we're in a position here where they're doing, you know, and this was uh -huh. a relatively compared to the other battles we saw. This was a relatively short set, and it went pretty quick. They were done in well under seven minutes, six six and a half minutes. But that would be a lot of reviewing. I don't know that they'd mm -hmm. ever get through the sets. If what, what would you do? Hold up the set. So it really <laughs> yeah. is. It it has to be where you have to have judges. You know, again, if it's going to be held. You know, here at Grit City, at this one particular gym, if you know, if you could have a handful of judges mm -hmm. uh, that you could, for about lack of a better term, train in what you're looking for and how to exactly how to judge these things. I was a little confused too because you know, Iz brought up the point. He just said I took a lot of reps from Money L with his push with his pull-ups. Uh, it was only two by my count, and there were two reps taken away from Keith with his pull-ups. So I don't know is saying he took a lot away. I thought it was when I reviewed the the video, I said, well, let me see exactly how many he took away. It must have been a handful, but it was only the two. You know, like I said, and, the, and Mel took obviously took two away from Keith. They were neck and neck with that. Again, they got through their muscle ups. Yeah. They did the same amount of pull ups and then they did the same amount of burpees. They both had one burpee taken away from them. The judging, I'm racking my brain, to be honest with you. I, I, there's got to be a better way. What it is, I, I really can't come up with right now. But there's got to be a, a way to do it to make it 
uh, more even keeled, I think, with the, with the judging. I think they just got to make the marks with each other. Like, okay, it's got to be like this. Because can how how would they do when there's three or four judges? Would they be like boxing? Can they be like that? By, and then they like see the cards on on each set. Is that is that something that could be done? You know how like they do on each round. They decide who got the most points, right? And some right. judges see more, more points than others, or they just see more than than the others or less. I wonder yeah, if that could be words, something. Okay, so I I think I I I think I see what you're saying. So you would have you would have three but again you would have to have three judges on each side on each athlete yeah 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 you're right you're right yeah so for something like this you you actually would have had six judges and mm. then they would run the routine and then the three judges would give their scores at the end and say i i thought he missed x amount of reps here and whatever they'd have to have some type of scoring system and then choose a winner at the end and that's going to take you know, this has potential to grow. I, I think it's a great idea on Izzy's part. I'd like to see it grow, I, and I really think it has potential. But there's got to be, definitely has to be uniformity when it comes to the structure, when it comes to the judging. And, you know, it's like anything. You have to iron out the kinks, right? You learn by experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's still in its infancy, and it's, it's, it's the only place it can go from here is up, obviously. That's right. But, uh, you know, and we talked about this in our other reviews of, of some other videos. And again, this this battle was posted on That's Good Money's channel. And I took the liberty of going through some of the um, some of the comments that were left under the video. You know, we brought up the point about the judging s several times in our other videos that we talked about this. So I just wanted to point out some of the comments that were made on this video. So one guy says, I love this sport. It can definitely uh, be something big but we need standard rules and the judging should be even all around. There you go. Right. There you go. And he says, I know some people might get their feelings uh, in the heat of the moment, but maybe there can be a third party refs that everyone agrees on, which is a very, what do you, what, what do you say? Uh, he says, maybe there can be third party refs that everybody agrees on. So again, I, th I think that just means that, you know, he's saying let's get refs that, Somebody that's not associated with Team Rip Right. Mm, okay, oh, I understand. Now. I didn't understand that first. Okay, I get it. It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I somebody, think that's a good point. Yeah, somebody that's somebody that knows the sport, obviously, that's involved in the sport, but not directly involved with Team Rip Right. Mm, I agree. That's good. So, like we, we like we spoke about. We uh, hey, mm -hmm. you know, we, we're looking for judges, and you know, this is the competition we're going to have. You want to be a judge? You know, you sit down with them and you explain the rules that you're going to have and the technique you're looking for and, and, and things like that. And then I, I think, I, I think that's actually a pretty good idea. That's, that's a great really idea. Good idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, you know what, like you said, we need this, this, Hey man, if it's cared for, it will grow. So then there will be, there will be a budget and then there will be people to be the third or, or fourth judge. And yeah. that'll be a better, a better way to do it. Yeah. Well, I think I that'll be the, the way. Yeah, I saw Iz talking about it, and uh, apparently uh, they actually have a couple of sponsors now. You know, okay. people sp sponsoring them uh, behind the scenes. So, yeah, again, it's it's just getting going, but if people are, are willing to put their money into it, they see something in it too. You know what I mean? Because why else would you invest in it and put any kind of money into it unless you thought that it could be something? So, again, I, I, I really think it can. I think it can grow. But, again, you know, it's early. It's really early on. There's, there's going to be growing pains, just like with anything in life. But yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's a really great concept. So another another good uh, another comment here, which I think was a point that that we can talk about is uh, it was a good battle, but they they must be matched according to weight. The weight difference is huge, and it matters. What's your take on that? In other words, yes if you had no. a guy, if you had yes a guy no. that was. If you had a guy that was 210 pounds and then you had a guy like is who's 140 pounds it, yes and no Vinny, because you know what at first i thought about that i'm like yeah it should be matched by weight but you know what that's an oxymoron because you learn to carry your weight you train calisthenics you your your arms your muscles get trained to carry your own weight and then you get because i i see, I see people that's heavier than me and they get a bunch of fucking reps so I think it's it's not now that I think about it, I don't think it's 
Yeah. I don't think I don't think so. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I I think it's all relative. Uh, mm-hmm. Like you said, if I'm tr- if I'm training body weight, my you know I'm training to move my body weight. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. not. I don't see how anybody's at, at an advantage or disadvantage. It's mm-hmm. it's moving your own body weight, and you know mm-hmm. you train to do that. So no matter how much you weigh, like you said, you know you see a guy heavier than you that's doing more reps. I don't see the weight issue as as a big thing. I agree. You know, I agree. I think the rules and the judging are, are the big part of it. And I don't think it matters how how much the the athletes weigh. Yeah, yeah. So at first I thought about it and I'm like, maybe, but you even said it earlier. But you know what? Now I'm reflecting on my house. I'm like, no, because you do learn to move your own weight. On yeah. you know, you can get faster. If I want to get faster, I train on getting faster. So it, really, this is coming down to the training, and and yeah. actually, these videos are helping for that man because we're breaking it down into little things. Yeah, yeah, and it's all relative, and you know, it's not like it's uh, it's Olympic weightlifting. You know what I mean? Then of course mm. you would have to have you, they do have weight classes for that, but in this case, I, I don't think so. <laughs> we had another comment here in. The, under the video that said, we need a judge to judge Islam's judging. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, man, that's just funny. So people, hey look, man, people see it, man. We, you know, they, yeah. we, we see it, we see yeah. you can't hide it, man. They ain't no nothing, yeah. you know, to hurt somebody. <laughs> that's uh, funny. We made mention of uh, earlier with uh, with Keith's burpees. I brought up a point that it looked like. Uh, on on some of his reps, it looked like he wasn't going all the way down, and it almost looked like just a four count burpee where he was going down, kicking his legs back and coming back up. And it was a comment here said the dude in all black with the white stripes, which is Keith, uh, he's not doing his burpees properly. He got to go down fully with the push up and come back up. Other than that, it was a great workout. He says, and I agree. Uh, yeah, no. you know what? That's that's I think it's good from uh, Brevi to judge strict like that. You think, you know, it's, I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's to to yeah to. Uh, but he, what I think is missing here is the communication on right. uh, our part here watching the video and and uh, I don't maybe I think the athletes maybe got it. You know, maybe they do have it over there, but we don't see that. So yeah, true, true. My point isn't th- that there's anything wrong with the way is judges. That's not what I'm saying. My point is that. If 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 Iz is going to judge one athlete this way, then the guy on the other side has to be judged. Yeah, in, you know, is as, as close as you can get to yeah. on the same, you know, with the same scrutiny that Iz is using to judge his guy. Exactly. Hey, check me out on this. How about this, Vinny? How about this? How about they have a different judge for the other, and then we they can have Iz. Uh, checking on everybody's yeah um reps yeah like a ref so it's the judges but then there's a ref in there too that's yeah that's a good one too yeah like a, like the third man in the ring this yeah could be the third man in the ring yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. um yeah and then in the, in the comments apparently i don't know i mean there were several comments about the weight classes people mm-hmm. seem to feel that that is an issue so he, you know, a couple of people said it. You know, are you going to do different weight classes, a, a lightweight versus a middleweight? But yeah, I, again, I don't think that that. I agree with you. I don't. I don't think that that's that's the issue here. You know. Yeah. I, 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 I love these battles. I think they're really good, uh, especially the fact that Iz is doing it and looking to get these guys paid. Man. You know, because the, I mean, a lot of these guys are out there working their asses off, and it's good to do it for your health. It's good to do it. For your ego, it's good to do it. You know what I mean to to keep yourself in shape. We've talked about in the past if you can make some money from it, and Iz is giving these guys a chance to do that, which you know, you know, hats off to him for doing that uh, with these guys. Definitely. So, you know, but yeah, it is it is what it is for now. But it's I, I see it growing, I see it getting better, and we'll just see where it goes. All right, brother. So I guess uh, we're good with that for this one. We'll we'll wait and see what what the future holds. What other battles we got coming up? Yeah, man, they gotta let people know that the battles are this weekend, so they'll be uh, they'll be coming out 
with some more videos, which I'm looking forward, man. Our brother, Ghost Talk Games is gonna be up in there. So man, yeah. shout out to the bro. Our, fr uh, our friends good luck, man. Bros YouTube channel, Gusto is gonna be competing. We're, so Aldo and I are actually making this video on March 7th. And uh, coming up this weekend on March 9th and March 10th. Oh, there you go. Uh, we have other battles happening, uh, settle it on the bars. And they're actually gonna be doing a, a bracket type competition uh, with winners and losers brackets. And uh, I guess everybody involved is gonna have a chance to win some cash. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, to learn more about it, you can go to the settle it on the bars. I'll have the uh, link down in the description below. Settle it on the bars YouTube channel, uh, and I would imagine Rip Right HD too would have some information on it. But that's uh, this weekend, March 9th and 10th at the Grit City Gym in Bronx, New York, and uh, I'm sure there'll be some video highlights from it, uh, or just you know videos of some of the battles. I'm sure there's going to be some great battles. Again, our, our friend, our good friend Gus from the Game Bros. YouTube channel is going to be there too, competing. So we wish him a lot of luck. Yes, sir. All right, my brother. So yeah, hopefully we'll have some good content to talk about after this weekend, and we'll get back to everybody on that. Uh, other than that, my friend, I always appreciate you, Aldo. Everybody, check out uh, Crusades of Motivation on YouTube. Always good stuff from him, and uh, everybody, get your reps in, and we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. God bless you, everyone. See you around.